think we're good. What's going on, guys? Rich Schneider right here, publisher of the Night Report, a.k.a. Ruckers.Rivals.com. Chris, that's your cue. Do the little whisper thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right, keep it going. Uh, anyway, uh... I'm Rich. I'm kind of the host, I guess. I don't know. We all do it together. Um, that's Craig uh, on the right side of the screen. He's one of our staff writers on the site. We've got Chris Nowalski on the left side of the, left side of the screen. He's our beat writer. Uh, knows everything there is to know about Rutgers athletics. Um, what's going on, guys? Interesting game tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's not even 6.30 yet, and we've already had uh, Juwan Howard try to fight with Mike Tur Mark Turgeon and uh, A-Rod breaking up with J-Lo. I mean, <laughs> crazy day. Yes, it's been an exciting day. j -Lo single. This is the new Who's Gonna Date J-Lo pregame show. Or something like that. I don't know. I'm struggling here. It's going to be The Bachelor, <laughs> uh, the Night Report edition. Ah, uh, Instead of a rose, you get like a sword and shield or something. Ooh, that would be, <laughs> that would be interesting. But yeah, no. Tell my wife not to come home. Let me go after J Lo right now. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> the Juwan Howard thing was kind of interesting. I thought I thought that was cool. He said that. What uh, even like like what even happened? I didn't even. Apparently, Turgeon. Uh, this is from Juwan Howard's point of view. I didn't watch Turgeon's press conference, but he said that Turgeon looked at him, and said, "Go back to your, go back to the box. Don't step past the line at center court." Mm -hmm. And he's like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, so whatever, dude. And just don't talk to me." And Juwan's like, yo, what do you mean don't talk to me? And Juwan <laughs> said that he, uh, that uh, Turger impressed him a little bit and like started walking towards him. And he, Juwan's, Juwan's from Chicago. He's not going to take that shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was a part of the Fat Five here. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's also, Turger's what? Like maybe six foot? Juwan Howard's like a solid six, 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 seven or something. Like, this man will mess you up. <laughs> yeah, I would take, I would definitely take Juwan Howard in that one. Yeah, of course. I just, <laughs> and the fact, oh, he's six, nine actually. Oh my God. Yeah, forty-eight year old Juwan Howard, or let's see how old Turgeon is, real quick. I'm gonna guess fifty-six. Or yeah, oh wow, okay. Did you know that? <laughs> no, is he fifty-six? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, or fifty-six-year-old Mark Turgeon, whose height is not listed. <laughs> for for probably for good reason. Five foot ten. <laughs> All right, five foot ten for six foot nine. Turgeon's getting messed up any day of the week. Uh, well, if we go by Bayheim yeah. standards, if you're uh, sh shorter than 5'2", you can't have an opinion on basketball. Yeah, well, I mean, Bayheim kind of outdated a little bit, too. That's what happens when you're uh, blue blood that doesn't make the tournament. Yikes. That, well, who is it? Syracuse, Kentucky, Duke. Um, no, that's pretty much it, right? Kansas making it? Maybe not? COVID? Um, I'm not sure. Virginia, maybe? Vir uh, Virginia got COVID. Kansas yep. got COVID. And this is what I warned about is that now they're re they're really playing with fire playing these conference tournaments because if you're telling me that a team if we get to the finish line here and a team that wins their conference tournament gets you know gets down with covid gets down with covid what are you going to do tell them that they're not going to be a part of March Madness well I mean what's going to happen Seton Hall's in that's what's going to happen Yeah <laughs> Number one seed at Seton Hall is now in the <laughs> tournament No no seriously I'm pretty sure like well like the wait like if something happens like you take the seed that the team yeah. like you got, take you know whatever what I mean? seed so, it is and Seton Hall is yeah. right on that bubble if they beat Georgetown uh tonight which yeah. I think starts in like 15 minutes I know it's still tough they have they probably have to go to the finals of the Big East tournament if not win it at this point just because that yeah. St. That John's loss at the end of the season was ugly did did rebound and get a uh, St. John's win technically but mm -hmm. yeah I don't know it's if you're a Rutgers fan Nah, I can't even say that. That's kind of bad now I think about it. Put it through my what head and say? I was like, uh, yeah. you, kind, you kind of want like a number one seed to bow out. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you could play like, uh, you know what would be cool if they played UConn in the 8-9 matchup, played Seton Hall as a one, as a one seed. <laughs> and then <laughs> I don't, it'd be cool. It'd be interesting. I don't, I think they solidified themselves as an eight seed after that win last night though. Mm -hmm. Rutgers in general. I, I think mm -hmm. that that win was big. It's a quad two win. Um, I think Indiana's like 16 in the net rankings. So, I mean, it's it, it was another solid win. They didn't play great offensively. And there were stretches that we saw down the mm -hmm. second half where it was like back and forth, back and forth. Trace, I told you Trace Jackson Davis is going to get his. It, it, is, matter. it is good. <laughs> it, not, it does not matter. That man will get his. I can't wait to see him on the nets. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. You want to talk a little bit about yesterday's game a little more in depth, I guess? Yeah, uh, I know. Obviously, uh, Illinois, uh, Indiana got up, ha had a had a big lead in the first half, a little bit. They get, they get, think they got up to 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 a ten point lead, but then Rutgers ended up chipping it back, and 
They ended up taking the lead into halftime. Uh, I remember the Paul McKay obviously made two really big three pointers. Huge. And uh, Miles Johnson had a big tip in. They were getting rebounds late after Indiana was getting rebounds in the, in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, and they really sl- solidified the win down the stretch. Even even Miles Johnson made a couple free throws, I believe, at some point uh, in the second ba- half. Back so. to back free throws. Ba- back Let's to not back. ignore yeah. that. That's huge. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, he's so made that was huge. Four in a row. Yeah. So. I mean, nice. yeah. So I mean, they obviously, you know, they 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 played outstanding defense down the stretch. Uh, I think they went the last nine, ten minutes without a field goal. They only had two points. Mm-hmm. They only scored yeah, eighteen points in the that's, second half in general. Crazy. So they obviously, you know, they they played Rutgers. De- they played Rutgers defense in the second half, and that, that that's why they ended up winning. Yeah, it's. I just they held them to fifty points. Eighteen points in the yeah. second is just incredible. Like it's if they could do this and play back to like Pico style of play of defense and rebounding nonstop, they could make a run. Mm. They really could make a run. And then God forbid the offense clicks at the same time. Whew. Yeah. Yikes! This team <laughs> could. I hate to say it, Sweet Sixteen. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> their 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 defense fuels their offense. So if the defense gets cooking and the rebound, they have to rebound. And not just Miles, but, um, mm-hmm. you know, if they, if they do that, their offense will come up, I think. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I know uh, Craig kind of mentioned a little bit about, uh, let's go back to this, okay, he's two shots that he hit in the corner. Mm-hmm. Huge. Just talk yeah. a little bit about more uh, more about I that. I mean, wow. just credit to Paul, really. I mean, the guy early in the game, he just he really, he would, took threes. He just couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, really, but he just kept plugging mm-hmm. away, plugging away. And yeah. when Rutgers needed him most, he, he sank him. And it's just credit to him for just the persistence that he showed. And going back to, you know, the just the game, I mean, it's kind of what we've come to expect between Rutgers and Indiana the last few years, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it Rutgers was a, win, it was, Archie Miller loss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was really a back and forth slugfest for the most part until Rutgers, until really, until Paul hit those two threes. And it was just kind of Rutgers' game from that point out. And credit to Miles Johnson with that tip. And that was kind of the, that oh. kind of just sealed the deal mm-hmm. there. Oh. That, that was crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was huge. I can't believe. Uh... He, he snagged that somehow and just a little flick of the wrist and it was in there. And Yeah, and his little was, smirk going back to the oh, a little smirk, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little DeAndre <laughs> Jordan type smirk and all that. Yeah. But that was cool. That was pretty interesting. Um, trying to think what else. I, this this Indian, let's go back to, or move ahead. Let's go to this Illinois team. Uh, they're incredible. They are a very good team. They destroyed mm-hmm. Michigan without Dasumu. They still have Kofi Coburn, who's great. They have um, Kirbello, who's also a very good point guard out of New York. Uh, it's going to be tough. I know Rutgers did beat them technically in, uh, earlier in the season, but this mm-hmm. is not the same Rutgers team. We know that. This is not the same Illinois team. We definitely know that. Is, is Rutgers going to have to score 91 again to beat them? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Uh, right. Probably, to be honest, because this, t- this Illinois team is just, they're operating at a different level right now. Like, I've heard, like it was Michigan. Michigan's kind of been spotty here and there. Mm-hmm. And Illinois has become just a buzzsaw. I don't, I don't, I can't think back to when it really turned up the notch. But after, really, after that Rutgers win, I would say is that they've really just become really one of the top teams in the country. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just incredible mm-hmm. how much uh, Io Desumu, Kofi Coburn, all those guys are just really operating at a new level right now. Georgia. And they're a team that can. They're a team. That, I mean, they're going to definitely earn this one seed going into March Madness. And they are a team that could make a Final Four run. I would not be surprised to see the fighting lion eye, you know, in the final four. Yeah. Yeah. I know when we were doing our bracket predictions, obviously um, I, I have Illinois win the big 10 tournament. And um, after, after they lost to, they lost to uh, Michigan state, I believe it was. And they, and they uh, won every, and they'd be three ranked teams in the season, including Michigan. And they're, they've just been fantastic. And I would assume it looked like Batman when it came back the last game. So, I mean, he's obviously he's he's obviously a stud. So isn't it? Yeah. Rutgers needs to really bring their bring their A plus game really to have a to have a shot. But I know last night the guys the Rutgers players were talking about how you know they're 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 playing loose and you know they're gonna give give it everything they got. See, I feel like today's kind of interesting too because it is that one year anniversary today of when they did get taken off the court. So now it's like, do you think mm-hmm. that plays a factor mm-hmm. a little bit and might like give them a little more juice going into the game? Like, hey, yeah, like, I kind of, to be honest, I, I think, think so. that would have been, sorry. What were you say, Chris? Oh, I was, uh, I think that might have been, I think, I think that would have been last night. I'm sure they, they thought yeah. about it, you know. Yeah. They, I know, I know one of the, another reporter asked, asked Mulcahy about it the other day, but mm-hmm. I think, uh, you know, I think that would have had an effect yesterday, but they, they played and everything's, everything's fine. Yeah. 
it, it, it's intriguing. I mean, it's just, it's mm-hmm. crazy to think like one year ago today, like I was sitting there getting ready to watch the game and then boom, off the court. Mm-hmm. But glad we have it now for the time being. I don't know what's going to happen. The whole COVID thing freaks <laughs> me, word, freaks right? me out yeah. now. Like the fact that all these teams yeah. like Virginia, who's probably a guarantee, I would think in the tournament, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Kansas, who's like on the bubble, I guess. Eh, they're probably in. I, I don't know. Actually, I take it back. I don't know their official record, so I'm gonna ignore that. Syracuse one. is in a little bit of trouble right now because they're just they played Virginia. Yeah, they they now... came out and said everyone was negative though. So oh, okay. That's a good sign for them, especially if they they're gonna have to play a game, I guess, eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. It's it's just, it's very weird. It is very weird. But going back to Illinois, this team is phenomenal. They're coming off three ranked wins, which is <laughs> mm-hmm. Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio State in a row. They beat Michigan by 23, and we thought Michigan was really, really good, and they didn't even have to sue move for that game. Yeah. They had Tate Fra- or I think it's Tate Frazier, Tim Frazier? Trent. Trent. It's, I knew it started with a T. I was close. <laughs> uh, he, he dropped 22. Um, then you had two games before that. You had Coburn drop 24, and then 19 against uh, Wisconsin. And Curbelo leads the team with 19 points against Ohio State. It's such a dangerous Illinois team, and I really think mm-hmm. that, like you said, they're going to make a big run in this tournament. We don't know when. I, I do think they have a shot of winning it all. It's just, when's the last time a Big Ten team has won it all? That's my concern. So, I don't know. I know one person here put a couple of shekels on Illinois to win it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and we won't name who, but, you know. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. It wasn't Craig. Uh, you guys did that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, oh, you. but then it's such a weird <laughs> year because then they they lost to Rutgers. They lost to a Missouri team that's okay. They lost to Maryland, who's probably in the tournament. They lost to Ohio State once. They lost to Michigan State, like, February 23rd. Mm-hmm. Well, Michigan State was, was rolling at that point. Yeah, it's just such a weird year. Like, I don't, I don't know what to expect from this game at all. It's going to come down to, I think, Miles Johnson shutting down Coburn down low or boxing mm-hmm. him out. I know last oh, time, sure. last time they played, like, Miles didn't even start, which is insane to say. He still played 30 minutes, but he didn't start. It's a different Cliff, too. So, I mean, Cliff can kind of give him a couple more breathers here and there because it's going to be a dogfight down low between those two. And they're mm-hmm, going to yeah. get tired. They're both, I, I don't know how to say it, bulkier big men, if you want to say that. Mm-hmm. So, I, I do assume they'll yeah, get tired I mean, going uh, at each other. Yeah, and then obviously Johnson, Miles, Miles are gonna have to stay out of foul trouble for have to have a Yeah, chance. that's a that's the big one. And there's and there's no Bobrovsky, so and now he he refed the game before. Wow, yeah, we've, we've had we've had a break from Bowwatch for a while now. They're, they're getting so lucky with bows. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, well, you know what's gonna happen, right? They're gonna win tonight, and then Iowa tomorrow. They're like, yup, Bobrovsky, that's your game, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what oh. to do. <laughs> You say, oh, Paul, you, you dislocated your face running into Luca Garza's elbow? No, <laughs> technical foul on you. Yeah, I mean, they're just throwing them around now like it's candy. It's pretty nutty. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, would you, oh, okay, we got a couple of questions, well, statements okay. and questions. Uh, Jason Spitzberg said the key to beating Illinois is to block out Kofi. Um, I don't think that's how you spell Coburn, but we'll, we'll ignore it. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Georgie. Georgie is dangerous. I feel like not enough people talk about him. That six mm-hmm. eight six nine stretch four that Rutgers fans so badly want on their team <laughs> is right there on the Illini. He is. He's a very good player. He can shoot it from deep. He can score from pretty much every level of the court. Um, yeah, it's. I do think Ron will do pretty well guarding him. Ron, Ron's actually. Ron had a good game last night too. I think Ron's yeah. actually starting to come back into his own. He. Shake, shook off whatever was bothering him throughout the middle of the season. Um, I think shutting down Georgie's huge. I think I think someone's got to guard Curbelo like twenty four seven. Like it's got to be like I think, Jacob I think or you'll Montez. See, uh, Jacob Young on Curbelo. Yeah, yeah, probably Jacob Young on Cur- Curbelo. But who, then who I guards? Know, I know Curbelo's quick too. So. Who guards the Sumu? It's going to be probably Caleb and Montez. If I had to guess, Montez yeah, guarded I mean, him last I, time. I mean, there, there's Baker playing point. I mean, maybe Montez yeah. comes in more. Because Mulcahy's you know. not quick enough to guard the Sumu. Nah, mm. and uh, it'd have to be McConnell to start if they're keeping this. Oh, he'd have to start actually. Now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. He didn't start yesterday. I forgot about that. Unless you, ah, it's so risky to put Paul on him, but. I don't know. I think I think you'd have to keep either McConnell or uh, Montez in the starting lineup for this game, just for that sole reason. Someone's got to guard Desumu. I don't know. Yeah. It, um, I I don't remember who who guarded him last time. 
Craig, is this one of your relatives in the chat? I don't know. Ro Let Robin Epstein. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Robin asked a question. Um, yeah, if, if Rutgers nice. beats Illinois tonight, would you rather than play Iowa or Wisconsin? <sighs> Wisconsin's good, but Iowa's great. Yeah. One thing I would say, I, I say it doesn't matter because the, because that means Rutgers beat Illinois and they're in the Big Ten semifinals. I mean, yeah, they, they're gonna ride if they beat Illinois, they're gonna ride that high. And I think if I think I'd almost rather than play Iowa because I feel like if they ride that high into an Iowa game, you could mm -hmm. beat them. You could very easily beat them. Sure, it's tough, not, not man. easily. I, mean, I shouldn't say easily. I take that back. It's, it's tough, tough, man. man. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I kind of feel like they're playing with a little bit of house money tonight because it's like if you lose. I mean, the Rutgers isn't expected to win this game, but right. if you win, man, you're you're talking about bumping up your seating going into March Madness and going and facing possibly Iowa or Wisconsin. It's just like you're kind of playing with house money, I feel like, a little bit in this game, and that kind of can give Rutgers an excuse to, you know, play even more loose than they were yesterday. I mean, sure. yesterday – and even yesterday they were playing Indiana, but you could tell – that I mean, the home court advantage, even though it wasn't like, you know – it wasn't sold out, but I mean, there was mm -hmm. they were definitely making some noise mm -hmm. yesterday, and Rutgers it didn't phase yeah. them at all, and they yeah. just you know yeah. took it to India. They really don't fear Indiana. Yeah, I mean, I know even even Mulcahy said he liked the crowd because there was a crowd, and even even if they were going against them, they were able to still feed off it. So. That's yeah. I found that interesting. I was like, okay, here because you could hit, you could tell when Indiana yeah. started going on their little runs that the crowd is getting into it. And I was interested to see how Rutgers would respond for really the first time all year to have a crowd and not, and have them be basically against them. You know, mm -hmm. Rutgers taking on more of the heel role, but you know, that they didn't care about it. It didn't phase them at all. Yeah. It's, it's an intriguing thing. I, I do think not, uh, opposing crowds definitely suck because they're going to like yell at you and boo you. But at the same time, they're also booing their own team at this point. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> could you, I said that to you. Yes. I was like, could you imagine this is the first, basically the first time, Oh, you get to see your team, and you just boom off the court. Yeah, I mean they they are. I guess you could consider Indiana a blue blood, right? They're one of that like premier like basketball programs from the past. Sure, yeah, we'll so, give them the pass. So I mean, they're they're definitely <laughs> very upset. They haven't been good in years, and I think Archie Miller's zero and six for his Rutgers in his last six games. So definitely doesn't like help. Six of six of seven, something like that. That that's the thing. Like if you read their boards, like there's a lot of people that still think it's like Rutgers of old that were struggling under Jordan under times at rice they had a, kind of like an upward swing a little bit uh mm -hmm. fred hill they, they they struggled they weren't great but they think that it's that same ruckers and i don't think they understand that like ruckers is better than them right now they should don't get me wrong indiana's recruiting if we're going based on stars alone and rankings they should be like a top 25 team very easily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i do put some blame on archie for that one but it's just them losing the ruckers six <laughs> times in a row is bad <laughs> it's crazy uh and I was I was going to mention, I, you know, I, when I was talking to Alec yesterday about, uh, you know, him talking about them wanting to get rid of Archie and hire their own guy. Yeah. I completely forgot to mention, like, be careful with that, because Rutgers with Eddie Jordan, you know, Eddie Jordan is a Rutgers guy. And look how that turned out. Mm -hmm. Eddie Jordan was a shit NBA coach. He was an awful. Yeah, I don't like, get, like, he just he wasn't he good in NBA. Bad. What makes you think he's going to be a good coach in, yeah. in college? I know. I saying, huh? And you can never drop down a level. I remember, like, no one I remember wants to at some point. He was talking about how they don't practice rebounding in practice, which is, yeah. you know. But. Yeah, we don't teach rebounding. They, they should have taught this uh, in grammar school or something like that. There's some, well, cool luck in the Big Ten. Like, at, 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 at this point, at, at this level, they know how to rebound. So. Oh, yeah. Like, no, uh, you still should work on it. Do yeah, it they showed that last it. night when Miles basically just tapped in the game winner. Yeah. <laughs> the, the dagger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, tonight's gonna be weird. There's so many stars on that Illinois team that I don't really know like what to expect. It's um, Desumu, Curbelo, even Frazier could go off. Georgie could go off. It's yeah, gonna have anybody. to. I mean, I mean, this, I mean, at the same time, Rutgers kind of has that. Maybe not, you know, more, you know, more explosive and more like star power kind of, so to speak. But mm -hmm. you know, anybody for Rutgers can can go off too. But um, I, I will say. Big, like they have the past couple of games against Indiana, like they can't get out to a slow start because Indiana has too much firepower, too much scoring to, you know, I, I, I don't think they would, I don't think Illinois would, would go nine minutes without scoring a bucket. So I mean, Rutgers yeah. definitely needs to not, not get out to a bad start again. Yeah. That those rough early starts are just, they're not, pretty, yeah. they're ugly. That's yeah. something they I mean, got to learn. Asked, I asked Pluck about that recently too. He didn't really, mm -hmm. he kind of dismissed it. So I don't know. 
That's something mm-hmm. they got to learn going now going into March Madness is if you hit those streaks where you don't score for three, four, five, six minutes, you're buried. You're If you're facing a good team, you're going to be buried. You're mm-hmm. not facing Indiana in, in March Madness. You're going to be facing UConn. I mean, who else did who else did we see in the projections or whoever? I mean, if you uh, hit UConn, those streaks, Missouri, Missouri Oregon, Oregon, we saw State. Oregon's a good team. I would love to watch that game because uh, I, you know, yeah. the players would have that little chip on their shoulder, like oh, screw great. you, Amari. I think I think like, Oregon will win, but it'll be. It'll, I I it'll don't know. Good. I feel like it'd be closer than people think. I, I think like it'll be close, but Oregon Oregon is a good team, man. Yeah, oh, they're very good. But I, I just think like people are just downplaying the fact that this Big Ten is like beating up on a, on each other at this point. It's it's such a good conference this year. I, I'm intrigued to see how it translates. Like we've seen all the teams play great defense against each other. I'm intrigued to see how it's going to translate against. I've said this before against conferences that are so guard heavy and I, wing slasher heavy compared to the Big Ten where it's it's just mm-hmm. big men every every <laughs> game. Like yeah, yeah, it's insane. So I'm intrigued to see how that works and. I, I do think the Big Ten is going to make some runs this year. I don't know if they'll win at all, but they are they are definitely going to make a r- couple of runs here and there. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm mean, trying to think. I, I'm trying to think of all the teams who I could see making a run. I think I think uh, obviously the Michigans and the Illinois and the Iowa, but I think teams like Ohio State could make a run. I think yeah. Purdue maybe can make a little bit of a run. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, like you said, it'll be interesting to see how. Uh, the, the Big Ten fairs in the March Madness. I'm trying to pull yeah, up a bracket. A lot of it depends on matchups. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Of yeah. course. I mean, uh, let's see. No, I, I don't think North Carolina is horrible. I don't think they'll make a run, but I think a first-round win sounds reasonable, depending on who they play. But let's see. West Virginia can make a run. Texas can make a run. Um, Al- Those are all kind of big names. Or I guess Oregon, if they do get the sixth seed that I'm looking at right here, they, they will make a run. Mm-hmm. There's going to be one Cinderella. I just don't know who it is yet. I feel like Loyola is too obvious this year. They yeah, are, they're, they're very, yeah, they're good. I mean, but I think it's just too yeah, obvious this year. Yeah, they, they're they're good. I mean, we know about it. We know about them now. They're not really mm-hmm. a uh, you know sleeper team anymore. We know how good they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Louisville maybe. Liberty intrigues me a little bit, but this <laughs> one has them versus Purdue. I don't see Purdue. How about anymore. Iona? Are they going to win the tournament? Are they going to win their MAC? Or whatever. Never it is know. You season. never know with this guy, man. Patino. <laughs> is, are they in the finals or semis? I forget what uh, it is. I think so. Yeah. Are they really? Wow, that's that's <laughs> incredible. I don't I don't get how he does this. He's <laughs> oh, they're playing right now. It's thirty. It's thirty-one eighteen against the five seed. They're winning. Yeah, yeah. they're winning. Yeah, oh seven. my god, they're gonna play either St. Peter's or uh, Fairfield. Jay Young, right? Yeah, Fairfield. Let's be honest. Good they're gonna him, win. they're gonna they're gonna win the tournament. Patino's gonna find himself in the in March Madness again. It's gonna be this incredible just... that Patino <laughs> yes. came back, and his son's been coaching Minnesota for what five years and yeah. Seven years, and Iona's seven. gonna make a further run than Minnesota ever. Had. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. That's <laughs> awful. Wow. So it, it's really gonna be Iona versus Fairfield or St. Pete's. I hope Fairfield wins. I'd like to see Jay on oh, yeah, the tournament. I'd too. I, I would hate to see them play Rutgers because obviously I do think Rutgers would beat them, but it'd be cool to see Steve Young or Steve Young. Jeez. <laughs> shout, shout out to the 49ers. Um, yeah. Jay Young <laughs> in the tournament. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. Let's see what we got. We got a, wow. Okay. We got a ton of questions in chat. I, yeah, I don't know. I lost what track what happened there. <laughs> um, Cure Bell is so dangerous. Kind of talked about that. Star players. Yes. Illinois is godlike at this point. Brad Underwood's a hell of a recruiter in Orlando Antigua. He's, a god when it comes to recruiting. Uh, he was at South Florida, I think, beforehand. And he he was killing it there. Um, do you think there'll be a big Illinois crowd? Eh, won't Maybe. be as big as Indiana, but it'll probably it would I would see it being more of an Illinois crowd than a Rutgers crowd tonight. Yeah, I think they said there was only a couple of Rutgers fans there yesterday. Yeah. Might be like a couple more today. If they win today, I could see a lot of people flying out tomorrow. For uh, the it, Iowa, it'll be, Iowa it'll Rutgers, be right? earlier too. So I don't know. What if uh, that would be the earlier game? I thought. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it no, it'd be, be there. There would only be two games, so yeah. Would they late. space them out, or I don't know. Uh, I think, I think maybe like a two and four thirty situation. Oh, like that. okay, yeah. that makes sense. Um, what else we got here? Uh, I'll be honest. I didn't look at bracket times past today. So yeah, I didn't. <laughs> what state is Rutgers in? Um. They're in the state of New Jersey. Well, technically, they're in the state of Indiana right now. 
<laughs> I it's don't the state think, of Rutgers, as Shiano yeah, likes to say. Oh, there you go. I got the whole entire uh, Rutgers basketball team soft. Ooh. Ouch. Who uh, squared circle squares? It's a mouthful. Um, <laughs> said Rutgers basketball seems soft. What do you guys think about that one? I mean, they're, I wouldn't say soft, but I'd say they're definitely streaky. I mean, when things start, when they're like we said, like you said in the past, when things go good with them, they ride that momentum and they're able to, you know, carry that emotion with them. They definitely play, they're definitely a team that plays with their emotion on their sleeve. Oh, I yeah. mean, we see Jacob Young steal, dunk, and the guys jumping around. But then, you know, when they start slumping, you know, you see it defensively, they're, they start to, they don't, they don't play with the same intensity and it follows them up onto the offensive side. And it's just, you can see it. Rutgers is not the same team when they're, when things aren't going well. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the high ceiling, low floor. Put it like that. Yeah. There's when they, they're on, they're one of the best teams in the country. When they're off, they're one of, I don't even know what happens to be honest. Yeah. I watched the I mean, game. They were, ranked, they were ranked 11th and then they yeah. kind of went down, downhill. Um, man, this guy is a, he's a troll. Nice. Yeah. Illinois. I'm, troll, just, saying, I bet, I'm, right? just, I'm just going to, I'm just going to ignore him. Nah, I'm going to, I'm going to play along with it. This is fun. <laughs> uh, Jersey is a cesspool of failure and under accomplishment. Ouch. Um, and the Midwest probably sucks. There's like farms and stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, it's like hey, 70 degrees today. I mean, hey, Jersey's, Jersey's nice beautiful. today. Hey, yeah. Jersey's beautiful. It has a little bit of everything. Hey, you got a yeah. beach, you got cities, you got farms, you got woods. You got mountains, you got, you could go for a hike, anything, yeah. anything. I mean, have you ever like been to jersey i gotta ask you that question if you're gonna talk shit about them <laughs> um let's see what else we got killing it outside yes ross i know he got fired but he was a good recruiter i meant killing it at recruiting <laughs> my fault i apologize um illinois is a team this year no probably not i'm just gonna tell you right now um you're gonna lose to iowa next round if they win so that's i don't my, know about that that's, that's my bet i already I, I said that before the tournament started so you have iowa being illinois in the in the semis yes, sir oh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Maybe Interesting. Um, McCaffrey can finally coach his team correctly. And what are you gonna do if Weiss Camp isn't playing? Gonna go get that eraser, or maybe some white Yeah, out. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big difference. Just make a new bracket real quick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, let me just get this paper shredder right here. <laughs> oh, look at that, and we're done. It's kind of like that. Uh, the second weekend of March Madness. I look at my thing, and I'm like, mm, Yep, nope, I'm out. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of red there's a lot of red pen in there <laughs> jeez we're playing with house money tonight no pressure yeah no you're right yeah. ross I, I, yeah. I, I don't they said um i forgot who asked miles about that i think it was Pulitti. he asked him about it and uh he was kind of like no we're here to prove people that prove to people that we belong here and we deserve to be here or something like that along yeah i wouldn't lines. expect them to i wouldn't expect anybody to nah, say we're playing with house money that's house money, yeah that's know. not that's not their ammo i haven't played with house money in a while Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's an intriguing matchup. Um, I, I just don't know who guards the Sumu. I think Caleb's going to have to be on his A game if they beat him. If they beat him, shot Geo take some time to guard him? Maybe for a little bit, but I just I don't trust Geo defensively. He gives up on times. and I love Geo. Don't get me wrong. Great player. It's just there's times where like he'll give up a little defensively. I don't think he's quick enough. I think the Sumu is that quick, man. And he could right, shoot, I'm gonna, he could shoot, I'm gonna he could slash, he could look at the highlights from, from December, I'll let you know. I know Montez uh, <laughs> guarded him quite a bit, but that's when Montez was starting. Montez hasn't started mm-hmm. in, what, 10 games or something like that? Yeah, and he's coming off a pretty bad game. Yeah, he didn't have a nice, he had a, I shouldn't even say nice, he had an ugly game against um, Indiana. And he hasn't, he hasn't, I don't know what's happening lately. He hasn't really played that well at all, so. The money, or, or two my Montez, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had he had three quick fouls yesterday, and then he yeah, the man had four fouls game. with 15 minutes left. I'm, I I look down, I look up, I'm like, what the hell just happened? Mm-hmm. But uh, definitely crazy. Never been to Jersey, all just fake tough guys. And oh, all right, Sopranos wannabes, yo! <laughs> Don't call Richie a Sopranos wannabe. Come on, I Rich. wish I wish I was in the mob. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, mob. I apologize. <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't. Um, I, I would suggest if you uh, ever get a chance, Jersey's beautiful, and um, there's nothing else to it. The, the Jersey Shore is just on a different level. Um, you guys don't even know what a beach is out there, so I'm sorry. I'm feeding this troll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Listen, it's, Rutgers, like, Jersey is uh, beautiful today, man. It's 70 degrees. You can, I mean, come on. Had, I can't get any better than this. The audacity I got, the, I got knocked, the windows open right now. Yeah, the audacity yeah. knocked the women out here. Yikes. 
<laughs> just because they don't wear overalls and stuff. They wear like bikinis and uh, I, I'm getting too into it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Rohan said, you think Quiff can develop like Coburn physically? I don't, dude, Coburn's like 280. Yeah. Like, I mean, if Quiff gets Cliff, to 280 I mean, in the next come, year or he's two. He's come a long way. Shit. Wow. If Cliff gets to 280, I'd be shocked. You'll definitely, yeah. you at some point tonight, you will see Cliff guarding uh, Coburn. I think. Oh at yeah. Some point. Yeah. Because usually at the you know at the first uh, media timeout, he usually puts Cliff, and I've noticed. So mm. that's when you'll probably see Cliff going up against mm. Coburn, and then we'll see what happens. I think that's more or less just to get Miles um, a little bit of a rest too. Yeah. But, no, defensively, Cliff is right there. I think he's got to add more muscle. He's got to learn the game. But if you've noticed, he's been so much more aggressive. He's literally like dunking on people for a change it's kind of mm-hmm. incredible As i hate to say it i've been saying this all year long just get aggressive you have the athletic ability to go up with just about any of them you're probably i, I can you could argue he might be more athletic than most of the centers in the big 10 mm-hmm. so i was i'm watching the highlights like i was telling you guys yeah mm-hmm. and and curbello was was just driving on baker a lot so yeah. like i said the, i think i think jacob speed. needs to do, needs, needs to guard curbello Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think you have to start Jacob for Curbello, Curbello purposes. Mm-hmm. Um, at the two, I don't really have a preference. Probably Geo, even though Geo's probably one. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably play Bunger. So probably Young, Baker. I think you have to go McConnell to start or Mathis. Maybe try to get Mathis in a groove right away by giving him the start back yeah, again. Yeah, It's not a bad idea. Um, if not, McConnell, I could see that. The That's a weird lineup. I don't think they've played that one this year yet. Hmm. Young Baker McConnell or Young Baker Montez. Young Baker Montez started the year, I think. Mm-hmm. But Young Baker yeah. McConnell would be an intriguing lineup. I think that'd be a that'd be interesting. And then uh, obviously Harper and Miles. That's no question whatsoever. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's yeah. That's probably that's probably the X factor tonight. Is it's not going to be exciting. It's not really an exciting answer. But the X factor is probably the big man. I mean, Miles against Coburn from there. If Coburn yeah. starts getting going and Miles finds himself in foul trouble, that's it. I mean, Rutgers is probably done from there. But if Miles can kind of be Coburn's kryptonite, then Rutgers has a shot in this game, as we saw, you know, when Rutgers played him way back when. I hate this guy in the chat. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. This guy is awful. Rutgers is a guest <laughs> in the house of the Big Ten, dude. Stop it. Just stop it. Illinois is good for dude, what? You can block him if you want. No, I like watching. Like what he says. <laughs> Um, Ross said, agree or disagree. Reason the team won't go far is because they don't have a developed third big man. Uh, Palmquist, Dean, no bueno. Palmquist isn't a big, he's like a three, four. I guess you could consider him a four technically at times, but uh, Mamadou too slow. Yeah, Mam- Mamadou, um, it's not that he's too slow, he just doesn't understand the game. I think, I think he's still trying to learn how it works and stuff. And it's not good for a year three, year four player, or whatever he is, but. Yeah. I just think he had potential, but it's just not there. I don't think a third big man is what they need. Don't get me wrong. Would it be nice to have one? Of course, it would be nice because of foul troubles and stuff like that. But a third big man is the reason that they're not going to not is not the reason that they won't go far this year at all. Pico mm-hmm. keeps his rotations like seven, eight people, so two big men right there. The other five are probably guards for the most part. With like, I, I'd go three guards and two slashers. Just put it like that. Um, yeah, to be honest, if if not having a third big man was holding Rutgers back, we would have seen that this year because this man. is the Big Ten, the land of the big men. So the Rutgers had, if that was a problem, it, Rutgers would not be where Rutgers would not be dancing. Yeah, I I don't see that as an issue whatsoever. Um, that's why I hate when people are like, "Yo, they need another big man." Like, who the hell are you going to convince to come here to be third string behind Miles Johnson, who's playing twenty eight minutes, maybe thirty at times, and then. Quiff, who's playing 10 to 12 per game. Yeah. Hey, you want to come here and uh, be, I don't know, the four-minute guy that comes mm-hmm. and plays in, like, random spurts? It's never going to happen. Mop-up duty, basically. Yeah. It, I, that's why I don't understand why people want a third big man or even mm-hmm. think they'll get a good third big man. It's just so hard to convince a guy like that, especially if Miles is coming back. Like, there's if Miles isn't coming back, I get it. Get a transfer big. You have to yeah, at that yeah. point. Mm-hmm. But, no, I don't think that's the reason at all whatsoever. Um, Yait, yeah, that's his name. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, <laughs> Miles is the best defensive center in the Big Ten in my mind. Thoughts? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's so many people put an eff- emphasis on blocks and on uh, yeah, no, it's pretty much just blocks. Um, but he affects so many shots down low. Whether yeah. he, even though even though he's not touching the ball and getting that earned stat in the uh the box score, he's still 
affecting every single person's shot that is in that paint nonstop. Does he overcommit at times and cause himself to get fouls and get in foul trouble? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Which center doesn't? And he Which, does get a lot of steals too. I remember I wrote about that a lot. He gets yeah. You know, that's I and the thing is, that. like I think the refs, like I think he's getting all ball, but he's so long he reaches around. I think and they and they just call a foul sometimes. I only think they gave it to Morcel is because he was guarding more like wing type players, mm -hmm. and like if you're shutting down like their leading scores, you're gonna get more mm -hmm. recognition compared to with, whereas like you're the big man like yeah. And with You're the shoulder popping out. But. Yeah, that, that, that's, <laughs> I give him credit. I'll give him like the gritty award or whatever you want sure. to call it. Mm -hmm. That is, that is credit. This man's shoulder popped out like three times in a matter of like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And he kept coming back in. Like it's, geez, it's nuts. Um, what's going on, Garden State Gardener? Uh, let's see. Give Quiff a post game. If Quiff had, a, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you're talking about a post game interview. Probably not, but if he had a post I'm, I'm game, post game like, oh like on the block. My God, this guy would be phenomenal. Just do a little like a little dream shake, you know? <laughs> do, 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 do. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. But a little dream shake. Oh, if he learned to dream shake, ooh. Uh, no, Qu Quiff's game is very limited on offense. He doesn't do anything past that like half cylinder, mm -hmm. um, and he doesn't do that because I don't think he can. I mean, he shouldn't be able to dunk past that half cylinder. But that's like his most of his <laughs> game. He also he's very good in transition. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, super, he, he can he can get down the court. Yeah, super athletic, super athletic. Um, let's see what else we got in here. And usually when yeah, dude, I don't want to ban you, buddy, but you're getting to that point where you're you're very annoying. <laughs> um, you must be so bored. Kind of, yeah, well, he's he's a he's a loser. He, he, I mean, <laughs> roots for Illinois. <laughs> uh yikes um you must be you know read that one already i'm an idiot uh he's an indiana fan from Wyatt. indiana fan oh oh, wow. <laughs> oh this makes things 10 times better you really <laughs> do wear overalls uh i mean they're too dependent on their outside shot yeah no ross they're definitely like yeah. way dependent on the three it's like live and die by that three-point line um yeah. quiff or not quiff Jeez, sorry chris uh chris brought it up yesterday um, they kicked it the miles on like that first possession or two, and then that's it. They just, it's like, no, no, we're good. It works, but no, we're done. And like, it's crazy too, because like in the press conferences and stuff, and whenever we talk to Pico, like he always says they shoot, may, they shoot, you know, way too many threes. But, you know, I mean, but like, but it, it's, it, it seems like just, just nothing is being done about it. You know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, this team is so weird when it comes to threes. Like they'll miss yeah. their first 10. But once that one goes down, all of a sudden the floodgates open. And we saw it yesterday. It's just like they they, they become like a different team. It's so weird. Uh, Pykel just announced. Oh, not Pykel. Uh, Rutgers just announced starting lineup. Uh, it's the same one as yesterday. Okay. Um, okay. Baker. Oh, well, Young, Baker, uh, Mulcahy, Harper, Johnson. I, I don't like it. I'm just going to say I, I don't like it at all. I don't think Mulcahy can guard Desumu. And I think that's going to be their downfall a little bit. And then uh, – who you're gonna put? I guess you're gonna have to put Young on Curbelo, Harper, yes. Georgie, Miles, Coburn. Well, well, Curbelo doesn't start. It's it's well, Fraser, yeah, he's our Tumu, six man. Yeah, Miller, Grandison, and Coburn. <clears throat> yeah, I I don't like the lineup at all. It's um, I don't know. I don't like. Well, it, you'll you'll probably it. see Baker on Desumu. Well, I actually, actually, for now, you might see Jacob on on Desumu. Ah, that's a risky one too, because he's just got so much length. Don't get me wrong, Jacob's yeah, faster, yeah. but it's yeah, just yeah, Desumu it's... is is how how tall? Is, excuse me, how tall is he? Like six four? Six, Desumu? Five? No, Desumu yeah. is is he only six five? I thought he was he's a little taller. Yeah. I thought he was like six six six. I'm yeah, not six sure. six. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's long. Yeah. Yeah, he's lengthy, man. He is. Don't get me wrong. A very good player. I'll respect did, him in that did you know his aspect. first name is actually Quam Dean? Quam Dean. Well, Quam Dean. I just, I, I didn't, I know it is. How do you get IO from that? Like, I always wonder how people get their <laughs> nicknames. Like, don't even say mine. So, I'll, so we'll just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what else we got in the chat. We got a couple more minutes left. Um, they could play a second post guy with either Johnson or Cliff. Uh, yeah. I mean, Harper, Harper fits that mold very well in that four i know people don't like that he plays the four but he's not quick enough to play the three he's not quick enough to guard threes you think he could guard desumu i'm just gonna say it no shot but um yeah they i mean they, it would be nice if they had like a, a georgie next to like cliff and miles it would it would open up the paint so much for those two guys 
Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm just I'm just letting you guys know now that six six nineteen. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go through these questions. We're gonna rapid fire. Here we go. You think our uh, Ron Harper Jr. needs to be more aggressive going to the hole? Chris or Craig? Go. He was yesterday. Great. Next. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Stephen Dewina said Harper or Young leading us in score tonight. Chris, your turn. Go. <laughs> Harper or Young? I'm gonna go. Jacob. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Harper. Ooh, leading. Oh, wow. I didn't see the leading. Um, I wearing a New York hoodie, and I'm rooting for a New Jersey team. I covered the New Jersey team. Um, New York hoodie, because shout out to the subliners. They don't have a New Jersey Call of Duty team. And yes, I'm a nerd. I don't care. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love saying it. He had uh, he had one. I don't even remember what we were talking about at that point. This guy said Rutgers is soft as Dr. Scholl's. Those things nice. ain't that soft, buddy. I had them because I cracked my ankle once, and they ain't soft at all. That's I what got Dr. Scholl's in my, in my shoes. Let's Only go. Thing People soft. don't notice, but that, that ankle injury kept Richie from becoming a Division One basketball player. Ah, we'll go Division sure. Three basketball. Let's not, <laughs> let's not push our luck there. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, this guy, he said Rutgers is soft, man. Did, does he not see what happened last night? If he is an Indiana fan, this man, his team. You know, you know what? You know what? I just thought of something. Points. I just thought of something. This, this guy is either one or – Girl, it's Archie. I'm, I'm it's Archie it's, Miller. That's, yes, that's what I was gonna say. It's either Arch. It's either Archie or Bo. It's got to be one of the. It's got to be one of the two. If it's you, Bo, <laughs> coming for you, <laughs> Archie. I don't give a shit. You probably lost your job. That sucks, man. Um, good luck. I'm gonna go with Archie. I think it's Archie. it's it's, it's Archie Miller. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with Archie. Archie. This guy needs a hobby. Agreed. It's Archie. He's he's not doesn't have a coaching job. He has got to find something. <laughs> go golf or something. Uh, how are we soft? No, that's for that guy. Have you ever seen Miles Johnson play? Nope, still not, still not for us. Any of you have Rutgers gear on? Even no, clearly not. You, you, no, we got three cameras here, buddy. <laughs> and also, we're not supposed to anyway. So. Yeah, did you see uh, the game last night? Because I guess you didn't see the score either. But yikes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeet again. Let's go. Uh, I think it matters the most if Ron, uh, Ron and Montez show up today. Thoughts? Boom, someone hey, go. That that's yes. it. Say yes. no more. <laughs> uh, AK, compared to last year, our rebounding rate has dropped considerably. Most of the players are back. What are your thoughts in regarding this? Um, yes. <laughs> I'm going to answer this one a little bit. Um, okay. We're going, we are completely going Greg Popovich with these answers, yes. by the way. Uh, that's no. I, <laughs> there's, there's times where like you catch Cliff, especially uh, he gets caught with this so many times where there, he's just caught ball watching as soon as the ball leaves someone's hands and he's just mm -hmm. not looking at all for his guy or even feeling like a little bit left or right like where his guy's going so it just leaves to uh, a boxing out of thin air and then uh some guys wide open for a rebound it's kind of like yeah. what tori and prince said like you, i saw the video today so i had to bring it up it's like what well, how'd they out rebound you well you see when the ball comes off the rim they get two hands on it they catch <laughs> yes. the ball noted that, philosophy that's a rebound tori and prince <laughs> I miss mm -hmm. him. I miss him so much. I mean, and and the guard. I mean, I know Pickle has has talked about it a ton this season, but oh, he and and he always wants the guards to go rebound. But every time, you know, someone puts up a shot, they're already halfway down the court. Yo, I I don't get this guy. Like, if you're gonna make jokes, make good jokes. Jeez, I'm gonna ban you because your jokes suck. Is it the postless postless Malone one? No, no. Oh, I didn't see that. Come on, don't oh, okay. ruin it. I okay. didn't get there. I didn't get there yet. Okay. Miles Johnson soft like a bounce house balloon animal level. That's come on, dude. Come on, you're better than that. Don't you guys wear like striped fucking overalls? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, swap McConnell, Paul and McConnell. I completely agree, Chris. I think that's yeah, ye again. Let's go. <laughs> Squared circle loves bounce houses. I, I see no lies. Um, bounce houses are fun. <laughs> Note it, Chris or Chris Craig also likes bounce houses. Um, there's Barras said there's a handful of players in America who could stay with IU. Nobody on Rutgers can. I, I think Montez is good enough defensively. I think he's out of whack offensively, of course, but I think defensively Montez is still a pretty good lockdown defender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's just got to get his mojo back. And again, when they have their when everything's kicking on all cylinders, they look like a phenomenal team. They're top fifteen. I tempted to say top ten, but um, when everything is down in the dumps, it's like. Bottom one level of the Big Ten, Nebraska style. Hmm. And I was, you know, I just thought of this. How about Indiana missing all those free throws, man? I mean, that yeah, really oh, wow. that, that well, cost that, them. And then you actually, I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned that too, because actually, the last time Rutgers played Illinois, 
Uh, they got they put up 26 free throws and they made 21 of them. So mm-hmm. that kind of cost Purdue the game too today. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it. Purdue mm-hmm. lost. They were missing. Last I checked before the game ended, they missed like 10. So I was like, uh, yeah, that's gonna cost them. Must and, be something uh, in that uh, Indianapolis coincidence. Water. They lost by <laughs> nine. Weird. Uh, <laughs> Rutgers on the boards is like walking the point. Uh, dude, I don't even know what that means. Like your, your jokes suck, man. <laughs> Why is Square Circle so obsessed with Rutgers? Because he's an Indiana fan, and they have nothing else to do. And I don't know what else to tell you. They're just they're bored. They don't have an off season, post season. They have an off season. It's just it's usually ugly. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, no one wants to respect Rutgers here because we're actually good now. Eh? I see no fact. I see facts. Uh, it's the only hobby New Jersey folks have is burying bodies. Well, yikes! I I don't think I've ever done that. And strip clubs. <laughs> I see. I don't know. You don't, not, you know that's interesting. It brings that up because remember somebody asked if they would go to a strip club if, near the rack. Yeah, I mean you'd probably get a lot of college kids. You probably make a quick buck. You <laughs> probably lose your buck, but <laughs> hey, um, I see. It. I think it's I think it's a great idea. Dude, post Malone. Wow, this guy is nutty. Yeah, this guy's an Indiana fan, Jason. I don't even know what to say to him. Uh, yikes. And this guy's putting emojis of a skull and dancers. <laughs> this chat's getting fun every week. This is just getting <laughs> I don't want the season to end. Keep it going. All right, we got... All right, oh, five, quick. Uh, predictions. Five-minute warning. This predictions, is last predictions, call predictions. Well, yeah, throw some questions in there. We're not doing rapid fire again because that was... I'm tired. Unless you yes. just want one-word answers. Yes, then we can do that. Yes or no questions only. Um, Craig, <laughs> prediction. No. Go. I'm going to say Illinois wins this one 80 to 65. Ouch, Ooh. dude. Jesus. I just, I don't, they're just good, man. I don't know what to tell you. All right. You're not wrong. I'm actually going also around that same, same range. I'm going Illinois 82 dude. 62. You guys are ruthless. You know that? Oh, 85 I mean, 72. <laughs> I, I'll give them like a little bit more of a leeway. I do think they lose by double digits. I think the spread we said before is eight. Um, mm-hmm. Illinois is just very good. They have guys on the bench. They have and Curbelo, and I don't know if Frazier starts. I think he does. He does. He's starting, yeah. Yeah, so then and then they're starters, dude. Desumu is a national player of the year candidate. Even though he didn't win Big Ten player of the year, got robbed. Kind of like Miles Johnson, defensive player yeah. of the year. But... I mean, he missed some time, too, so I'm not sure. That yeah, I, think, but... I know, but he he's such a good player. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's great, yeah. I don't it's crazy to me that like Luca keeps winning, but he's also putting up great numbers. But all right, guys, thanks for everything. Um, what else did I have to say? Oh, see this scrolling thing here? Uh, hit the like button on the bottom. Hit the subscribe button down below, and you get this little like thing that pops up. I don't know if it Let's see if it works. Ooh, little money sign, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, and then um, follow us on the night report. Free subscriptions till May right now. Sign up. Promo code Rutgers twenty one. You get all the inside scoop. You get Craig's three thoughts after every game. You get Chris writing a shit ton about everything. Rutgers Athletics. Yep, big typer guy. And then you have me doing a recruiting football, basketball. I don't know. I dabble in everything. Um, you get everything. You get everything. Whatever goes on at Rutgers Athletics, you get it. Uh, oh, one more. Yeah, yeet. Yeah, yeet. <laughs> all right, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks, thanks for joining.